YouTube friends. Welcome back to Bunky's Workshop. So I have something here that I think might be important for most people out there. Um, either if there's a fire in the house or they have natural gas in the house or propane. Um, this is something that um, I've been wanting to do for a while and just didn't find the right item. But anyways, so we started out with this, okay? And this is a carbon monoxide detector. It has a test button, it plugs in, and is always running. And it also, I believe, I think that's it. And this one is model number C0600. And every now and then we hit the test button, it beeps, scares the crap out of the dogs, and then poor Daisy won't talk to us for the rest of the day. Anyway, the problem is with this, one, we have a fireplace, it's wood burning, um, and we are having it switched over to propane gas logs. So this will not detect a gas leak, okay? So it has to go. On top of it, um, we have a propane space heater, and again, if there's a propane leak, this will not detect the gas or the carbon monoxide. Well, yes, I'm sorry. This will detect carbon monoxide, but not the gas leak. So I need something that is going to detect both gas leak and carbon monoxide. So I went on YouTube, found several people who was using this particular unit and it plugs in and is awesome. The thing is, I wish I could get a model number, but they really don't have a model number on here. Anyways, so basically, here's what it looks like. It is digital. It detects carbon monoxide, natural gas, and propane. It also tells you the temperature of the room and humidity of the room. You plug it in. Welcome to Use Voice Gas and Carbon Monoxide Compound Detector. So it starts at um, 170 something and it does a countdown while it's sort of, much, sort of like calibrating. Let me see if I can get you in a little closer. Sorry for the... Can you see that a little better? So it's doing a countdown. And let's see what happens after it finishes the countdown. So it's already saying the room is at 73 degrees and the humidity is at 39. Now I'm looking up at my thermostat on the wall and it is at 73 degrees. And we do at the moment have the propane heater running. Now it's only on three quarter. We don't have it all the way up on high. So I wonder what it's going to say. I did check the room about a half hour ago to see, you know, cause we have a, let me show it to you. Ugh. I had purchased a long time ago, whenever you have anything gas in the house, and this is what it looks like. So this has a sniffer on the end and you turn it on, it warms up. And as you can see here, it has lights. And if it's just down here, nothing. But if it goes all the way up and beeps, there's a gas leak. And I use this, um, here's the bag that it came in. And I use it, um, Always, every time before I light our propane space heater, I check all the joints and connectors and all that stuff um, before I light it because you never know if there's a leak or a problem. But it definitely comes with a huge booklet to um, tell you how to use it. But um, very important so that if you have a gas or propane fireplace or anything like that in your home, please. Um, do yourself a good thing. Get these detectors in your home. Double check everything before you light it. 
Just be safe. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, we are down to 25 seconds. Let's see what happens after it calibrates and does its thing. Now this has to be um, plugged in. Um, I couldn't find anything in the instructions about batteries or anything, and I'm gonna say probably does not have a backup because when I unplugged it, it just goes blank. So I don't think it has, oh, here we go. Okay, so it has been calibrated. We're at 73 degrees, zero parts per million for carbon monoxide or gas, and we are at 38% humidity. So there we go. This was a Amazon purchase. I think it was like $44 free shipping. By the way, Amazon, you need to get your act together because seems like I order things with the free two day shipping and you just don't get it in two days anymore. So why are we paying for it? Anyway, there we go. I greatly appreciate you guys. I am going to back you up a little bit. And I'm stuck on the corner. <laughs> I'll get down here so you can see me. Hello. <laughs> so if there's any questions, comments, concerns about this, put it down in the um, comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. Again, this is an Amazon purchase. Um, this also, the, the um, gas sniffer was an Amazon thing as well. And I'll show you. It comes in this great little pouch. And all you have to do is you press the on button and it takes like um, 30 seconds to a minute to warm up. Once it warms up, it'll beep at you. And then you go in and check all the fittings, the pipes and fittings, um, either on your gas logs or your whatever that is gas, like gas logs, um, a gas space heater. Um, if you wanna check if you use a gas grill or a stove in your house, double check those things every now and then. Try to find the problem before it becomes a problem, right? And here is the box that this came into. And this is the one that we had and we're removing because now this does both. This is carbon monoxide. This is carbon monoxide, gas detection, temperature of the room and humidity. So four and one and one. Thanks for coming along. I greatly appreciate you. Please be safe at home if you're using any of these gas products. Um, plus, and I need to tell you, I did a video on our propane uh, space heater and we love it. We use it. We're gonna eliminate it and put it out in the garage um, once we get our gas logs installed. But any of you out there that are using any type of space heater, whether it be natural gas, propane, or electric, or kerosene, whatever it is, please read the instruction book. Go by what the instruction book says and be safe out there, okay? Thanks for coming along. I'll be talking to you soon. Any comments, questions, put them down below and I'll answer them. Bye-bye for now.